guys welcome back to another wellness wednesday we're so excited that you guys are here again um again i'm olivia davis i'm working with morgan morgan you can introduce yourself hi my name is morgan turner i'm a special olympics athlete and athlete ambassador and i'm a health education specialist at the university of kentucky's human development institute Woohoo! And today we are going to be doing a meal prep class with Bobby. So if you want to introduce yourself, Bobby, you can. Okay. okay. I'm so glad to be here with you guys. Uh, my name is Bobby Hancock, and I work for the University of Kentucky here in Mercer County as NEP, which is Nutrition Education Program. And I get to serve as like adults, uh, families, and youth. Woo. All right. Bobby, so. did you say uh, Mercer County? Yes, Mercer County. My family Mercer is County. from there. Okay. Is that right? What yes, part? Yes, ma'am. Um, or they're from Harrod Harrodsburg. Well, Harrodsburg is where no. I was from, too. I, and really? I live in Danville now, but our office is in Harrodsburg. Oh, okay. I have yes. family in Danville as well. Some yeah. of your faces may look real familiar to me. I also do the Jesus Prom with the Southland. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so me and my husband have done that for a long time, so my face may look familiar to you because we're just all about that. Yep. There. Yep. Okay. Yeah, perfect. I'm going to pull up these slides really fast, okay. and then we can get started. And so while she's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get started, and I want to say again, welcome you all today. And what we're going to talk about today is uh, meal planning for everybody. And it's kind of like a, in anything else in our life, you always need to make sure you have a plan. And when you have a plan, then chances are the outcome of it will turn out better. If you wait till in the mornings to get up and get your clothes out and get dressed, a lot of times that will cause you to be late. But if you plan it out the night before and you get everything out and have everything set up, or like he said, you know, he could not come to the next act because he had plans to go to the Halloween thing. So again, if he did not plan that ahead of time, he may forget something or not get to do it. So just being aware that any time in anything in your life, when you make a better, uh, it makes it much better for you if you have a plan. Mm -hmm. So in order to have a plan, the plan your meals ahead of time, then what only ha also happens is, is you improve your nutrition intake. You also increase the appeal of different types of things. You have a variety of flavor. You reduce the waste and making the waste of throwing anything away and you save money. And then you also get to save like a meal time whenever you're eating that you get to kind of relax and just enjoy the meal. Mm -hmm. Whenever I'm talking about meal plating, I always use the My Plate. The My Plate, if you have not seen this, this is a new, it used to be like the food pyramid and now it's gone to the My Plate. And on the my plate, half the plate is fruits and vegetables. The other part is grains and protein, and then you have your dairy. The side that I get concerned about the most when you're plating a meal is it's real easy for you to come up with a protein because we all love meat. Or, uh, you know, it is also the grains because we all love to eat bread. But it's really hard for us to get these fruits and vegetables in, and that is the area that we need the most up because in doing that, that's where you're gonna get all your vitamins and nutrition in order to keep you healthy so that you guys are able to get out there and do all the different programs that you do. Your planning yeah. tips. You wanna always check to see like what you already have. So how could you use that in your house before you go out to the store and purchase things? Because stores are set up to where they trick you. You know, they put things out there on the corners to when you pass that you're gonna want those items. So if you're trying to like watch what you eat and eat healthier, it's very easy when you go in the store without that grocery list and without a plan to buy something that you may not need. So always check your pantries first. Use any leftovers that you have, and then always make a menu of what you're going to eat for the week. And even if you can't stick to that menu, it's okay. If you stick to two or three days, you're better off than not doing it at all. And then check any kind of recipes that you have and what ingredients you may need in order to make those items. And you can always save like uh, the menu that if you did it one week, you can do it again the same month. If you like those food items, then you can do it every week if you choose to. It's just having that plan to be prepared in, uh, ahead of time. Yeah. I know I also, love, I have a few dishes that I just eat every week. <laughs> Whenever you look at your, uh, your plate of food, and that's how you can decide whether you're making a healthy choice or not. So when you look at that plate, if it's not colorful, 
then most likely you're not eating as healthy as you should. So if we had, you know, we got uh, the holidays coming and we get like a Thanksgiving turkey, mashed potatoes, gravy, uh, noodles, dumplings, all those things on the plate, there would be no color. It's kind of like all whites and carbs. So being aware of that, and when you look at your plate, if you have some greens and reds and yellows and all different colors, then most likely you're making a healthy choice. Again, have a variety of textures. You know, textures are sometimes uh, think what makes you decide whether you like a food or not. It's either the flavor or the texture. There are some foods that you may not dislike because you don't like that texture in your mouth. For me, I don't like shell macaroni. I do not, I love macaroni and cheese, but I don't eat shell macaroni and cheese because I don't like the texture of that in my mouth. Some people don't like thick. So if they're like mashed potatoes and stuff, you may not like those things. So you could always bake the potato, fry the potato, or do things different ways in order to change the texture because it might not be that you don't like an item from the flavor. It could be just the texture. So if you change that up, you may like it. And again, always have different temperature of dishes. You know, have some things that are hot, some things that are cold. So you can have like a salad, a baked potato, and some type of meat and make your meal out of that. Also, uh, you want to make sure that everyone has say whenever, if you're cooking as a group or you have uh, several people in the family, you want to make sure that you kind of make it to where everybody gets satisfied with something that you're making. But limit the number of dishes. Sometimes people think that whenever you have to start cooking, that you have to have like one of each thing that I was talking about on the food pyramid. You may think you have to have a meat, a couple of vegetables, a fruit, uh, you know, and then a grain, some type of bread and a drink. You don't have to do that. You could make one item and include all those items into just one item. Mm -hmm. So for instance, like a pizza. So if you have a pizza, the grain would be the crust. Then you could have the sauce on there would be your tomato sauce. Cheese would be the dairy. If you like fruits and pineapples and stuff on your pizza and all the vegetables that you wanted to put on there. Again, you would have one item, but lots of everything that covered into my plate. Do heavy to light dishes. You know, don't make everything towards like a starchy food to where you have a heavy. And then serve a variety of foods so that, like I said, that you have a nice place sitting. When the table is cleared off and you have a nice place sitting, it's been proven that you actually enjoy your meal more uh, by being able to sit down and enjoy it there at the table. Mm -hmm. Instead of at the ta uh, taking it to your chair or watching it from the TV, it's been proven that you get more enjoy your meal more by just sitting at the dining room table and just eating your meal. So now today I'm going to make... Uh, I'm going to make it says on your page. I'm going to make an item, and in this item, uh, you could actually use this for uh, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or a snack. Anyone that I've made this with has really enjoyed this. So if you have apples, you can choose any type of apple that you would like. I love gala apples, so that's one of the ones you can choose. Uh, so if you have an apple cutter, it's great to have an apple cutter. If you don't have, that's okay. But I have a cutting board here that I'm going to put down. And then I'm just going to take my apple cutter and I'm going to put it over the top of the apple and just push it down through there. Now, sometimes it comes out really well. Other times you may still have like some of the core of the apple. And if you do, so like here you can see that I have like some seeds in there. So we don't want to leave that in there in our, we're going to call it this apple nachos. And this has been a big uh, item that everybody likes. You know, I've done this with children, I've done it with older people, I've done it with younger people. Everybody loves apple nachos. And this is a great time of the year to be enjoying some apple nachos because everybody's got apples, fresh apples right now in the stores to where you're able to enjoy those. But one thing I like to tell you is anytime you're using a knife, that if I hear, that means you're not doing it the way I want you to, okay? So if I have you in my class and I say, okay, everybody's gonna cut up your own apple, and I hear that, then I'm like, oh, wait, everybody stop, because doing that, somebody's fingers could get, you know, kind of cut, and you don't want that. We don't wanna mess up our meal because we gotta stop and go get someone's finger. So if you have your apple piece here, you can just take your knife and you put, the apple piece in between your two fingers. So if you want to make a thinner slice, then you just hold that down and bring your knife down nicely. So anytime you're using a chef knife, you want to rock it. Anytime you're slicing something, you just rock it. 
and that knife there is the blade is going to cut it for you so you do not have you just have to bring it down and like rock it so if i had vegetables or i wanted to chop this up smaller i just take the knife rock it and i move my apple forwards and that apple thing gets cut the way i want it to in the squares but today i want to leave them in slices because it's much uh, nicer like the nachos i like to call it mm -hmm. so i'm going to cut this up just a little bit more just because I like my apples a little thinner. Uh oh, y'all hear that on the table? <laughs> you do a good job there. <laughs> okay, so I have my nap, uh, apple cut up here. I'm just going to place it out here on the plate and we'll make sure I have all the pieces cut. Now, again, whatever shape, size you like your apples, that's the shape, size you can do your apples. Your apple, you get to eat it, so you're going to do it the way you choose. Okay? <laughs> but like, Instead of making a mess or making a mess in a bow or getting out another item, I don't like to do a lot of dishes. So I cheat a lot with using Maggie's. So I take. That That's is, a great tip. I love I that. I using Maggie's. I'd be using that as well because uh, mm. I just get me a spoon of peanut butter. Mm. And I stick that right down that baggie. I take a spoon of yogurt. Now in yogurt, I'm using like the vanilla yogurt. You can choose whatever yogurt you have. Vanilla yogurt is kind of gives a little bit better flavor, but if you have plain yogurt, because it's being mixed with that peanut butter, it's going to be fine. So whatever you have. So you're going to do about the same amount of yogurt in with that peanut butter. Then I seal the bag. Now on the recipe that I shared with Olivia, it's going to give you out that you can add some honey as well. And that recipe is kind of making it for like a group of people. So if you had some friends going to come over and watch a game, or you were going to go watch the game, then you could make this as actually a dish to take along with you instead of just making it for you. But I'm cheating because I'm just making this for me that I'm going to use this baggie. But even if you're going to make this to take along with you, you can still cheat and put it in the baggie. Okay, then we're just going to work it out. This is a wonderful sensory activity. That's why I like to do it with my uh, seniors because they don't get enough sensory things done in their hands. So does children. They like... Uh, today's kids don't like messes. They like everything. Just, but this is really good and cold and mushy. And I want them to work this until you cannot see the yogurt at all. You have to turn uh, the peanut butter and that yogurt until it becomes like a caramel color. Mm. And once it's all mixed up into the bag, see that? Guys, this is wonderful, okay? Oh, you're going to love it. So if you try this, you please just let Livia know that if you like it or not, because this is one of my favorites, especially this time of year. Now, could you add some cinnamon or something else you like in there as flavor? Totally up to you guys. You can do whatever you choose, okay? Now I'm gonna take my scissors and I just cut off the tip of this to where I have it to where I can drizzle it out of there, okay? Now look at this, this is kind of, it still has like a Ooh. thick texture to it. You can choose, some people like to eat nachos and cheese, or you're not, when they eat that, they like their cheese to the side. Same way with this nachos, with our apple nachos. You can put it to the side and dip your apples in, or you can just squeeze it all over top of the apples. Now, if you have other items that you would like to add, you can. I have sometimes, you know how you have cereal for breakfast and you don't eat all the cereal, there's just a very little in the bag. I kind of save all those individual bags and put them in a baggie. Then when I want to make something like apple nachos, I can use those to crush them up and just kind of put them on top. Sunflower <laughs> seeds, nuts, but granola is another. This one here is a cinnamon raisin granola. Mm. So it's wonderful to be able, because it has some raisins, nuts, and the granola and everything in it. So I take this along with me uh, when I do the kids. Because that way they can each have their own little container to make it. Okay? And guys, there you go. You have some apple nachos. Yeah. So when that I talk about the food here, we're discussing this. So the apple would be our fruit. We had our yogurt that was in the dairy. We had the peanut butter that was in the protein. We also had granola, which would be a grain. And it has some nuts and raisins. So the nuts in there would be the protein. Raisins would be a fruit. So we pretty much covered everything except for a vegetable on the my plate. And is it colorful? Depending on what color apples you use, then based on the fact it would be colorful. And if you wanted to add more raisins or any kind of the berries, you'd be glad to do that. 
Yes, this is one of your most, I hate to take a bite in front of you guys because you don't have a bite. So it's very tempting though to say, oh, so good. <laughs> Yes, and Bobby, so is, is there anybody who just does not like apples and you may want to choose some other item to use? Does anyone yes. oh, like I apples? I love apples, Bobby. You, who does not like apples? I anyone? love apples. I, love I think apples. I, you do love apples. Well, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, if you love, love apples, apples, then this is great. You can have this for breakfast because, again, you're covered everything mm -hmm. you need in order to get that into the microwave. You can have it for a, a lunch, a snack. You know, and even for supper if you chose to, because again, you're getting everything you need. A lot of times we get confused when we're planning our meals on the thinking that we have to have everything, like the protein is usually the thing that you would need to go, but you don't need protein in meat three times a day. So if you choose something else, so I'm gonna go a little bit more into our plan right now about how I'm talking about that since I've made that on, uh, because everybody tells us that, you know, like, you need to eat healthier. And most of our health issues that we have today are based on the fact of what we put into our mouth. But no one tells us how we should eat. So if we look at the My Plate, like I said, and you look at how many different things, but it's like, again, you look at that and it says fruit, vegetable, grain, protein. How much are you guys supposed to eat? You know, no one kind of tells us that. But I'm gonna break it down just a little bit more for you while we're doing this. So when you are planning, that you would at least have an idea. And if you all want me to, to email out Olivia like a brochure for you to, to be able to have the look at that, then you're more than welcome. Or you can go to my plate to be able to look at that. So again, we're reading recipes, your dishes, that type of thing. Cook often to improve your skills. Clean as you go, always clean as you go. If you clean up your kitchen as you go, you will not have a messy kitchen the next time you <laughs> <laughs> but, but because it's clean. So, <laughs> that's a great thing to know about it. So with your fruits and vegetables, you always need, the reason you need those is kind of like what I was talking about with the vitamins that you need. You need those for vitamin A, your minerals, vitamin C, fiber. Everybody needs to have those items in your diet. But here's the main thing I want to talk about. Based on your age and whether you are male or female is how it's decided how many calories can you have a day. And no one tells it. Most of the time, everything we look at, it says you could have to two that based on a 2,000 calorie diet. I cannot have 2,000 calories a day because I don't move enough. So I have to go based on my age. If I said I'm in 56 to 60 years old, which I am, and whether I am some, you know, physical activity, I move a lot. But I don't move a lot to get my heart rate up. So I just kind of do everyday moving, not enough to really get going. So mm -hmm. I don't make myself considered as active. I make it more like moderate right now. Mm -hmm. So in doing that, I'm only allowed to have 1,800 calories. So if I ate 2,000 calories, like the recommended diet, then I could be in trouble for that. So I have to watch that. Because the older we get, the less food we get. You guys are young, you're moving, you get to eat a lot. So, based on your age, like I said, so most of you all, give me some ages, some of you all are. I'm 25. 25. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking most of you are in the 20s. You in the 30s? 31. I'm 37. Okay, so 20s, 30s. If you look mm -hmm. at that age, you guys are pretty good. That's <laughs> sad, because even if you don't do much food, physical activity, you get 2,400 calories, okay? That's like 400 more calories than me. I mean, that's like an ice cream cone, you know? I love ice cream. Oh, my God. So what you would do is, you again, so based on that, how many calories can you get? But the part that gets tricky is when you're taking in those calories, how are you supposed to get them? So if you're supposed to have one cup when it comes to fruits, based on your calorie intake, how many fruits should you have? At 2,400, you should have at least two fruits a day, okay? Some kind of fruit twice a day, everyone that is in that age group. How do you get those as a, a fruit? You know, you can have it like from a can of fruit cocktail, you can have apple, oranges, any type of, like a serving of that. One item at a smaller size is considered as a serving. So if you had one medium size like apple or one banana, one orange, any of those things are considered as one serving. Or if you had one cup of orange juice or apple juice, that's considered. So if you drink juice, you can count that as also for your uh, fruits. Now, if you have dried fruits, you have less. You can only have a half a cup of dried fruits because 
dry fruits has absorbed everything out and it, they are, uh, there's more in there because they took all the juice out. Okay. So in vegetables every day, you guys should have at least three of uh, this type of vegetable. Now I'm talking mm -hmm. like the broccoli, bro cauliflower, and those type of things. At least three cups a day. But whenever you're counting one cup of vegetables, that's considered to be like a cup of beans, a salad, a, a whole mm -hmm. carrot, a can of tomato juice. So if you like chili or spaghetti or uh, salsa, I'm a big salsa fan because I love Mexican food. Yes. Then you can <laughs> count, again, you can count everything in there and whatever food group it goes in is where you want to count that. Mm -hmm. When it comes to dark greens, so you're supposed to have two. Now, dark greens, mm -hmm. you know, that's your kale, spinach, and broccoli, those type of items. So you're supposed to do those twice uh, a week as well. And it doesn't mean that you have to cook spinach. You can use spinach in your salad as well. I put like spinach leaves in my salad. Mm -hmm. and that way it makes it where I can get my dark greens in as well with my regular greens. Yep, just sneak them in there. You have to sneak <laughs> them in there. And sometimes in things that you don't like. So if you're making lasagna or spaghetti, you can toss that in and you don't even taste it. I put everything really? in spaghetti sauce. You mm -hmm. never know what you're oh, going to get when you're eating awesome. my spaghetti sauce. So carrots, everything. Gets <laughs> <That's pretty laughs> it's, a, it's a serving you need. Yep. And I need to get rid of those <laughs> items. So I can just chop them up, put them in, and you can't taste it. it just, it's much better. Two you birds know? with one also, stone. When you look at yeah, your bread, yes. so, I uh, get this every week. Can I get six servings? I probably eat salsa six times a day. Uh, and sometimes, <laughs> sometimes twice a day. I've done had it once today, Ooh. so I'm <laughs> already making sure you get all this in. <laughs> but now, how many of you all eat like a cup of beans a week? Does anybody? Okay. I'm talking pinto um, beans, mixed beans. Now you can count this like as navy beans or uh, chili beans. So if you eat chili that has beans. But mm -hmm. you need those beans in your diet. Those are wonderful yep. proteins that you can substitute for meat. So you can get those in, and they're so good for you. So you mm -hmm. need at least two cups of those. Yep. I'm supposed to only have a cup and a half, but I probably get those two cups because I really like beans. Mm -hmm. I like peas. Peas gets to count in there. Lagoons, anything of that area gets to count in those peas. Now, this is the area that most people really love, the starchy foods, okay? Everybody loves corn, sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, baked uh -huh. potatoes. Yes. All those are starchy foods. So you mm -hmm. guys, again, you can have six servings of that a week. So that's at least wow. almost one a day. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mm -hmm. mean you need to have two of those at the same oh, time. Sorry. That's oh. the one thing we have to work on is you can have six a week, but just doing one of those with another type of vegetable in that day instead of doubling up and having those uh, corn and mashed potatoes at the same time, right? That's why we eat that. Mm -hmm. Everybody right. wants corn with their mashed potatoes. <laughs> right. <laughs> and it doesn't mean you can't do it sometimes, okay? Everything right. is in moderation. That's right. Every time. Well, yeah, you're taking right. in two starches right. at one time. We don't need to be doing that all the time. That's so just that's why we make a plan. You'd be able to see that more instead of just impulsively doing that. And then again, on your other vegetables, you're going to need, and that would be like your broccoli, your greens, and those. You all need at least five cups of those a week. Now, plan a healthy meal for your family would be like your breakfast, lunch, and supper. And when you plan those, uh, again, even for yourself, and so many times, if we're having someone over, we kind of cook things better meal than what we have for ourselves, you know? And you should be like your first priority person to where you cook the best meals for yourself instead of choosing something quick and easy because you want to take care of yourself. If you take care of yourself, you know, the more opportunities you're going to be able to have to enjoy your life. And that's the most important thing is that we get to enjoy life and stay in healthy in order to do that. But again, most of the time people do not tell us how we need to do that. So we have to kind of assume and guess at that because no one shares it with us. But you all can't, any, every county, wherever you are, has an extension office. Every county has someone there that is, is you are a priority of theirs to where they would be glad to help you in any way on um, any recipe ideas you need, any like quick recipes. Any, you, all you have to do is either call them, they'll mail them to you right now, or just show up and, you know, and let them know that's what you'd like it and they'll get it together. They do not mind to mail it out to you at all right now. So if you guys need help, 
Uh, and I keep saying guys, not because I'm seeing guys. That's a habit <laughs> for me, and I'm trying to work on it. It's not because I'm just seeing guys. So girls, if you're in there, I'm not saying that. Just It's just a better speech. But again, <laughs> drinking water, you need to always make sure when you plan those meals, you don't have to have a drink with them. A drink can be considered like an extra for you during the day. And when you have your meals, drink water so that you really enjoy your meals. And, uh, and then use that drink that you're going to have for an extra throughout the day for you to be able to enjoy that. And always, like you are saying, you do the Special Olympics and do some of the activities in there. That is wonderful because that way when you're doing those things, you are being able to get that physical activity that you need and to keep your body moving. And when you're doing that, you even get to eat more because your body's burning it up. So, you know, we all love to eat. It's such a big part of our life. And again, <laughs> making sure you all drink that water in order to get uh, to keep your skin, your hair. So if you start seeing your you know, it's your face breaking out or your skin kind of, if, you know, that just sometimes is warning you to say, hey, you need to cleanse your body more by drinking that water, flushing out all those bad chemicals that build up in our body. Because when we, everything we do, when we use, uh, you know, wash your hair, put lotion on, shave, soap, all those chemicals still get on our bodies and get built up. So we have to keep them flushed out by drinking the water. And doing that, you will keep your hair and your uh, skin as healthy as well. So does anybody good, have any yeah. questions for me today? Yeah, what questions? are your questions? Questions. Yes, well, I got a question just for everyone. Has anyone here by chance have you guys tried apple nachos or made made them? No. I am no. not Morgan. No. I've heard of them, but I've never have eaten them yeah. or made well, them. I hope you try it cuz yeah, oh, yeah. you can yeah. yogurt if you have peanut butter. Those are kind of like quick things you can run to and get those if you need them. It, it's a very quick way to make something. Yeah. Mm. That's Catherine, what was your question? Yeah, well, um, my school, my school cannot use peanut butter. So, 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 um, what can we um, use? In, um, yes, there are several um, things that you can substitute because you can't use the peanut butter. They actually have like almond butter. They have a... Uh, the, the chocolate that's kind of, uh, what's it called? Oh, Nutella. 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 Yeah, and, and you can substitute anything like that that would go with the yogurt as well. I've done that because some of my schools are the same way. You cannot take any peanut butter in because of the allergies to that. All right, but uh, cool. uh, peanuts oh. and walnuts, uh, I mean, like some uh, almonds and pecans and stuff like that, those are different than peanuts. So you can take those. Hmm. That was a Sounds good question. Does anyone yes, else yes. have have anything? I can't think of anything, yes. Morgan. So I think you're gonna try apple nachos. Oh, I, I definitely try will try them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> try them, guys, and see. I want to see what your feedback is on those. How you what you yes. do, them, okay? Yes. Yeah, well, well, thank you so right. much. Yeah, and I thank you guys so much for having Bobby. me today. Yeah. And any time that you guys want any information, I'll be glad to come back with you. Yeah. If you guys send in pictures of the apple notches to us, we'll we'll send them to Bobby and show her what you did. <laughs> yes, please do. That I can love be because then I can share it with my stories. Yeah. Okay. That yes. can be a good okay. homework assignment if you're not doing anything, hmm. um, and want to be creative. Try to make apple nachos and send them to us. That's okay. right. See the pictures. See what they look like. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. We'll see you next week. We're mm -hmm. going to do another sort of cooking class. So be sure to join in. Thank you, Bobby. And I will send out the recipe. Thank you so much, yeah. Olivia. And thank Sounds you, guys. Great. Have a great day. Well, thank you Bye again, everyone. Bobby. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. See you guys next week.